Northrop is a performing arts center located at the heart of one of the nation's top universities. As such, the core of our mission is the commitment to cultivate intersections between arts and education. This collaboration among Northrop, the University of Minnesota Dance Program, and Limon Dance Company is a shining example of what that can look like. We started planning the project back in spring 2020, shortly after Dante Puleo assumed artistic directorship at Limon. Dante and our dance program director, Carl Flink, who himself is a former Limon dancer, hoped to include the piece Psalm on the program at Northrop. Our students have the opportunity to learn from some of the best faculty as a result of their scholarly and professional experience. And in this case, Carl's connection to the Limon Dance Company is not only his own lived experience as a performer, as a dancer, and as an artist, but it informs his scholarship and it informs his instruction. And this means that our students, in partnership with this excellence amongst our faculty and an incredibly important, long legacy dance company like the Limon Dance Company, can learn in this very real and applied way, but also in this very substantive way. So it's not just technical. In moments like this, it's really three-dimensional and something that we can only do by virtue of these kinds of partnerships and by virtue of the expertise that Carl Flink brings to the students. The piece was designed for a larger cast than the current Limon company, so we all agreed to work together, creating the opportunity for University of Minnesota dancers to learn the choreography and appear on stage with the Limon dancers. As part of like the makeup, like the DNA of who we are, there is this collaborative, um, sometimes you know hopefully like egoless way of approaching this work um, so when these dancers have an opportunity to share that with the next generation of artists it is really a gift for them because they start to understand their own agency within the work and they start to like really get it in a way that you don't really understand without context so having that space from where they were as university students and where they are now as professionals, they understand how far they've come and how much they've grown inside of this work. So Limon Dance Company has an expansive legacy. It uses the technique of company founder Jose Limon to deeply research a humanistic approach to movement. As a result, this particular collaboration meets a number of our university goals. It increases inclusion, diversity, equity, and accessibility because students perform and observe choreography by artists from Mexico. It advances our students' success and career readiness of those dance majors. And it enables our students to experience new art. And so it enhances discovery and it showcases our driven to discover theme. There were nine university dancers included in this project, five that would dance in the piece and for understudies. Having this opportunity and like being in it is like, like my dream is coming true. But it's just kind of like, whoa, like wow. it's <laughs> like it's happening now. They studied the choreography for Psalm as well as the Limon technique for two weeks in September with Logan Francis Kruger, Associate Artistic Director for the Limon Dance Company. She did a really great job of like exemplifying how to be in the Limon body while also teaching us steps really fast. Between that residency and the November performances, the students continued to rehearse with U of M faculty, including Carl Flink and Laura Vertuccio. It's been really rigorous and just has, again, been a challenge to just meet the challenge and push myself further and to work so closely with um, my peers and the other students involved in the process has really been, um, yeah, a really big growth experience for me. During the performance week, they were integrated into the company. So leaning into that intensity and rigor mm -hmm. has been really helpful, especially in this Limon process because modern dance forms are so physical and expansive. Um, so to really embody that and move through that and feel that within a college conservatory community, but also finding how it relates to a company setting and a large proscenium setting is really insightful. Limon dancers really took the student dancers under their wings and worked with them on the nuances of the piece and the technique. The result was a seamless integration 
and a gorgeous sense of ensemble that was deeply appreciated by the audiences at Northrop. Well, we, we think about a program like dance that obviously we would want the students in the program to have the opportunity to dance. That's sort of the, I want to say that and acknowledge that because I think that's critically important that if this is what your hope and fulfillment as a student is, that we provide you what you need. So saying that though, I think allows us to really think about this more broadly, that the fact that we have a dance program, the fact that we are so strong in the arts, that we have the quality of partners that we're able to bring in, the kinds of shows we're able to commission, the kind of faculty that we're able to attract and retain, means that not only are those students well prepared, but we as a community are just delighted beneficiaries of the work that these students do in partnership with the faculty, in partnership with dance companies like Limon Dance Company, or through commissions like Migrant Mother, being able to perform at a place like Northrop. And so the way in which dance exists is to prepare students. That's our cornerstone, fundamental mission and obligation of that program. But what it does for our community is almost difficult to articulate or qualify with words that it creates this dimensionality to our community that is a treasure and that is really a part of what it means to be a university, a research university with the mission that we have. This company invites everyone. Modern is for humans, not based on your skin, not based on your height. <laughs> not based on, you know, the way that you perceive yourself. Everyone is a dancer, you know, and everyone is invited to this work, which I really appreciate. And <laughs>